Hey you guys, I'd like to welcome you back to part 5 of this polymer clay sculpting demonstration where I'm making an elephant. In this video, I am building the legs. I'm getting them started and I'm showing you how I go about doing that. It's in time lapse and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, now I'm going to be working on these legs. What I got going on here is I just rolled out a sheet of polymer clay and I pressed it down really good with this polymer clay roller to get it stuck to this marble really good so I could just set the elephant down on it like so. I wanted to do that to keep it from it can't be moving all around while I'm trying to film um, otherwise it wouldn't matter it's just because I'm trying to film. I got me a few sheets of polymer clay rolled out the thickest setting. I'm going to be using this to make the legs. All I'm going to be doing is cutting it into strips for now and wrapping it around the legs. Okay, How I'm going to go about doing this is I'm going to try to guesstimate what is the skinniest point on these legs. Uh, a caliper would probably be really handy right now. I could just, this looks like the skinniest area right here. So I want to build the legs out on the on my elephant at least this thick, all four of them. It's the skinniest point, and then I can build outwards from there. In theory. Okay, let me walk you through this super simple method that I'm using to make these legs. I'm taking this strip of clay and folding it around, getting it pinched on there, and being real careful, just wrapping it around the armature leg. I think it was just over one wrap a little over a wrap and then I I cut it a nice even cut I worked that on you know pinching the layers together and up at the top I add another custom cut piece and I do the same thing now I have the same amount of clay all up and down the leg okay I'm gonna try to wrap another little sheet around it this one's setting three it goes to setting nine, so I'd say one third of the thickness that the machine does. But I want to just, I want it a little thicker, and another full sheet is way too thicker. So, yeah, that's about what I'm looking for right there. So to get these legs started, I'm using basically two pieces of clay, one the full thickness and the other one on setting three. And it gives me that m minimum thickness of the original that I'm going by. And I do this with all, I do the same exact th thing for all three legs. It's pretty self explanatory. Like on this one right here, I, I just cut my strip to be, to help me, um, oops. Wow, I think I just slapped the lens of my camera. I'm not even sure, but. I have this thing like really really close. I watched that in slow motion later on. I I did I did hit the uh, that thing that covers the lens. But um, I wanted is this exactly the same thing I'm doing for all the legs. I wanted to take a minute to share something with you. The memory card that I was using for this new camera was wrong. So every video I made with this camera so far is basically poor quality the memory card that I had it wrote at 60 megabytes a second this camera puts out up to 100 megabytes a second of data well what that means I'm basically losing 40 percent of the quality so I went and ordered a new memory card this one reads at 95 megabytes a second and writes at 90 so there's even a little head headroom for more improvement but I, I could not believe the difference in quality after watching this, you know, the first video. I was actually waiting for this memory card to show up. So I the videos now will just be fantastic. I, I just need to get to actually working on them and doing the voiceovers. It's the voiceovers are still the hardest part for me. It's hard to get on here and just talk but I just wanted to take a minute and let you know that the 
all those other videos, you know, there's nothing I could do about it because the data was not being recorded all the way onto the card. So the even the I have the old project files, everything's useless because it was just, you know, not captured all the way. So now this is all the videos are going to look like this. This is absolutely incredible. This is probably the act though this is the best quality video I've ever made on YouTube. I cannot believe it. So I'm I'm thinking about and also the way I do my um overhead filming and this am this camera angle right here. I have to show you on another video how I set everything up. It's it's just perfect setup for the you know videos. I mean look at that scene right there. How nice. It's that's third that's four K at thirty frames a second, but it's being played in time lapse. I don't really need sixty frames a second for time lapse, but I still want to try to get a sixty frame a second uh four K camcorder one day. You know, for cat videos. But I'm finishing up the last leg here. I build it out, build them all out the same, and a lot of clay is going to be going on this elephant still where the the legs are. I'm basically going to do the same thing I did with the back. I did the the few sheets, you know, building it out, and then I came back adding the definition, adding you know pieces of clay. I'll be doing that with the the legs in the next video. Probably putting that trunk on him too. And then it's just, from there it's the ears and, you know, some fine details. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. And let me know what you think about this video quality. Is it just unreal? Um, this particular camera angle, this is the one I was telling you about I wanted to try. I have it right in front of me. It... It, you can't you can't get any better than this I don't think um, actually I noticed things in the video or on the, the display monitor that I wouldn't have seen uh, it was just a better vantage point and it, because it was larger it was helping me see you know little mistakes and stuff I was doing kind of an advantage but anyhow that's that's it for this video I really appreciate you taking the time to sit through this and you know waiting patiently for this video to come out uh, uh looking forward to hearing from all of you guys remember liking the video and commenting helps me so much and it may feel silly but i really would appreciate it if you drop me a line and just say hello or whatever and let me know what you think about the the setup and the the picture quality And until next time, and until next time, I will see you here again soon. Thank you so much for watching.